I initially created Taming Tigers because I discovered very late that we can do things that we picked up along the line somewhere that people like us couldn't do. But there is a systematic way that you can approach this uh, in order to do it. And it had such huge impact and continues to in many different parts of my life. One of the most important things for me about Taming Tigers is that I'm a completely ordinary person. To become a jockey in 12 months, I had no business doing that. There's a system to it, to that agility, to that change. There were days of considerable setback of people saying some really harsh things. We have to surround ourselves with good friends and mentors, advisors. Ask, can you help me through this? Having the purpose, knowing why it is, what's to win, why, what am I striving to achieve? And finally looking after ourselves so we're in a fit state mentally and physically and physiologically to turn up and take on challenges because the 21st century will keep throwing them at us. We're all formed and conditioned to survive in the industrial age and we're living in the ideas economy. In the industrial age, our job is to get it right, uh, ideally first time, to the satisfaction of an authority figure who could define right. Now we're being encouraged to make mistakes. We're going to have to act before we have all the facts at our fingertips, which is an industrial age no-no. We uh, now have authority figures who are, are mildly confused and looking for advice on how we do this, what right means. So we're going to have to take a totally different approach. Rule one, which is to act boldly, helping us A, stop procrastinating, because we'll talk ourselves out of shifting forward. We'll find people to blame why I can't do it. So act boldly, let's begin this thing on some level. And two is no fear. All growth, all development, all change, everything we're proud of achieving had a degree of fear attached. Fear we might invest lots of time and not get the result. A fear that we might look ridiculous by failing in front of everybody. Now, we're going to have to understand that and get friendly with it, not run away from it and the, the physiological call, changes that it, that it produces in us if we're going to make new things happen. Be agile, constantly flex and produce new innovative ideas.